Hello and welcome to a new video about measurements. This time we are still going to talk about errors. This time we want to find out of what part an error consists. Which different parts can be distinguished if you want it. I have already prepared a little diagram, not too much, just the axis. Well, here we have the measured value, okay, and here measured value, and here we have the displayed value. Uh, measured value and displayed value. So this is the real value and this is the displayed value. We said ideal would be a characteristic like this, uh, linear from point to point. Uh, this would be ideal characteristic. Okay, here we have some steepness, some slope, yeah, yeah, or let's call it theoretical characteristic. Yeah. And in reality, it does look different. Okay, what parts might be different? Well, we might, we might not start at zero, all right? So we might have a zero error. We might have a zero error. Yeah? So we might have a little bit offset here. Yeah? So that's our delta y. Zero. Uh -huh. it's delta y is zero. Zero offset. Yeah? Zero error. That's one possibility. Another possibility would be that we do not reach the same slope, huh? the same pitch here, huh? that we have a different slope. Huh? So here we have phi. Huh? Then we have a delta phi. Huh? which actually is phi minus phi theoretical. Yeah? This is the slope error. Okay. Steepness error, slope error. And then we might have a linearity problem. Yeah? So that we're not linear like this, that we're ending up in having something like this. Okay. Here this is the linearity error FL. Yeah. Okay. And this here. Fs. Fs consists of two different things. I mean, this is one is slope error part plus zero offset. Okay, this is this part. Yeah. And then we might have the situation, or often have the situation, that we're not having one line, but one line for rising values and another line for falling values. All right. So then we also have here a hysteresis error. And all those error parts, look at that. Eh? They are here depending at the x position. Okay. So wherever you are on x position, you have an error. Hopefully, what I've drawn here, hopefully this is not called measurement system. This is guessing system more or less, but 
Of course, in reality, those errors are small. Uh, by real measurement system. Uh, so this is the real characteristic. I just wanted to show you to the extreme. Right. Yeah. Those error parts can be distinguished. In the end, it does not really matter from where the error is coming, but uh, just to be mentioned, you, an error can be summarized by some effect simply. All right? Good. Uh, next time, we're going to talk about terms, uh, calibration and so on. Yeah? So what, what are behind those terms? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.